Hi everyone. Harriet doesn't like this on my head. I've just out the shower, washed my hair and um, got dressed again because I've got things to do. But uh, Harriet, it's still me. <laughs> She'll stare up at me like this. You think I've got the crown jewels on my head. Um, some of you will have seen my community post from um, a British news channel where they are reporting on a grooming gang and the grooming gang in Newcastle consists of um, four men at least and they subjected a 13 year old girl 13 years of age girl to continued sexual assaults passing around as the um, news broadcaster said passing around like a toy and draping up what is the country coming to things have always gone on i know um but there was more openness about reporting. I remember as a little girl, and I even remember the name, Stephanie Baird, I think it was B-A-I-R-D, and there was an unaliving of her. I don't remember the details, I was only little, but I do remember the shock and the horror of people um, when they were speaking about this in hushed voices and now we have arguably worse things happening to our children the men i guess were arrested um they are kuwaiti from kuwait and from syria Mm. They repeatedly assaulted, assaulted the child and then they said she had to convert to Islam. Go watch the news um, broadcaster on GB News on my community post and you'll get the full story from there it hasn't been reported on any other news channels these things as are many other things they're being hushed up why are they being hushed up it perplexes me the us and the uk fought in Afghanistan and elsewhere, Iraq. And now we are actually importing all about and our borders to all these illegal, illegal immigrants. What are they running from? There's no more war over there, not in the mountains of Afghanistan. All looks quite peaceful to me. Or if they are running from conflict, why have they left their mothers, their wives, their children behind to fend for themselves? Those families if the immigrants are given residency in, in Britain and in the US, those families will be sent for. There will be more and more children conceived. The war will be a war about breeding us. You can say what you like, 
you can call me a racist. Islam is not a race. It's an ideology. An ideology where the imams have, have, have said quite explicitly what the aim is. The aim is to have the black flag flying over Downing Street, to have the black flag flying over the White House. Why did we fight the wars and then actually embrace hundreds of thousands, in the case of the UK, coming over from France in dinghies? some of them paying thousands to um, traffickers to get them here. Wouldn't they be better off spending that money building a secure home for their family? Wouldn't they? Or are the benefits of being put up in five-star hotels, being given a weekly allowance, a mobile phone, clothes, the prospect of citizenship, is that all worthwhile? Is that worth the thousands that they've paid over to these people to jump in a dinghy and make the perilous journey across the channel? I say perilous, no it wasn't, not really, not in the main because French boats, the French Navy, have escorted them so far to the English Channel and the Royal National Lifeguard Institute, I think it is, have um, escorted them onto British shores. No more money from me in your little cans, tins, your little pamphlets that come through the post you get no more money from me or in ally so i'm perplexed at what we're doing we fought these people and now we're importing them not only that there are a lot of illegal immigrants also because there's a dearth of health um, care workers, they are being given um, a permit to work for up to two years, a permit to work in nursing homes, nursing homes such as Alfie was in, although I'd hope that that particular one would be very careful about who they employ. However, when they get stuff from an agency, they don't really have much say in it. So imagine your loved one trying to um, convey in, in, in the sense of Alf, trying very hard to show what he needed. And they haven't even got, got a grasp of the English language, not even a basic grasp. Imagine them having to explain to um, the nurse or the doctor or the uh, paramedic service, the hospital, what is wrong with the patient that they need um, a resident, that they need urgent assistance. They can't explain it. We are bringing in these people to do the jobs working for the most vulnerable in society and yet they don't even have a full grasp of the English language they're untrained totally so I ask you again what are we doing what is the UK doing what is the US doing what's it all about I know what my opinion is. We're going to have the elites at the top. We're going to have the slave labour at the bottom 
that as I speak English or not. And us, the ones in between, the problematic ones, are going to be eventually displaced. That is my opinion. Nobody's going to convince me otherwise. There's no other explanation. A great reset.